You are watching and recording a jet ski race. A racer speeds up from rest to 70 miles per hour in just a few seconds, then continues at a constant speed. Draw a basic motion diagram of the jet ski using images from the recording. From 10 seconds before reaching top speed until 10 seconds afterward. Okay, so we're just um, watching this jet ski and we're using the particle model. So we, we just assume that, you know, the whole mass uh, is at the center of mass of that, uh, of the jet ski. So we're just going to draw dots. And that is a, a motion diagram, right? Motion diagram just shows um, the positions or I guess the position occupied by the object at different times. And the, 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 the delta T, so how often you take a, a screenshot or a, or a you know, picture uh, is constant. So here we want to uh, draw these 10 seconds before reaching top speed. Let's say that reaches top speed here. 10 seconds before and 10 seconds after. So let's say that um, we're doing one frame per, uh, one frame every two seconds. All right, so then we want um, five dots over here on this side. So this will be zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, and then maybe another five over here. So 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay. Um, so this will be okay if the jet ski had constant speed because the separation between the dots is the same, but that is not quite what happens. So it starts from rest, uh, but after reaching top speed, it does have, um, uh, maintains it that top speed. Okay, so then that means that it was probably much closer to this point when it started. Yeah, something like that. So it started here at zero seconds two seconds, four seconds, six seconds, eight seconds, 10 seconds. Here it reaches uh, maximum speed. I'm not super happy with my drawing here because the maximum speed at eight should be, I mean, the speed at eight should be close to maximum. So let's just make it a little smaller like here, then here a little smaller like here, then a little smaller, then a little smaller, then a little smaller. Yeah, it looks better. So this is 10 seconds, eight seconds, six seconds, four seconds, two seconds, and zero seconds. So it starts from here and then it starts it has some acceleration. So the velocity starts increasing. And so the distance between the dots starts increasing. So the velocity between zero and two is gonna be this, so pretty tiny, between two and four, between four and six, and you see that they are growing, between six and eight, 
between eight and 10. Here it reaches maximum speed and it just maintains that. So the size is gonna be the same over here. If you wanted to include, you know, just for completeness, the acceleration, then um, let me see. So we can use uh, purple for the acceleration. The acceleration is the difference between this one and this one. So, you know, initially, it doesn't seem to be pretty big actually. Let's say, maybe that big. Right? So uh, it's constant, let's say. So this little acceleration is added to the velocity vector each time and that's why it keeps increasing. And here it, uh, it's zero, it's not accelerating anymore. So yep, fun with uh, motion diagrams. I hope that you liked it.